So here's where I left off in the last video. And before I go on modeling, let's, um, and it's a good idea always uh, that you stay organized and uh, keep your scene a little bit uh, cleaned. Uh, so all I want to do now is here click on that button to open up the outliner. And as you can see here, we get a bunch of uh, empty groups and stuff like that. And let's try to get rid of um, all that stuff that we don't need. Um, those um, empty groups um, uh, are created when when we are or when we were uh, combining objects and stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, let's um, select all of our objects that we have here. So I don't want to select those um, those um, background images. So select those, shift select those, and. You can see here, okay, the, those are uh, the objects that um, we uh, already created here, and that's what we have to uh, clean up a bit. Uh, so with all those objects selected, um, you can go in here and say delete history. So I've got that button here on my shelf. Um, if you don't have that there, uh, let me show you where you can find it. It's under edit, and then uh, delete by type history. So if you want to have this on your own shelf, just uh, hold on Control and Shift and then left click here on History. So that's where this button comes from. So with all those objects still selected, I'm going to delete the history. And boom, you can see here, oh, we, are, we got rid of um, a bunch of empty groups now. And with those objects still selected, we could also go in there and uh, freeze the transforms. Um, I've got that, again, a button here on my shelf. Um, that's again under, uh, not under edits, uh, instead of edit, it's under modify, um, freeze transformations here, All right? So I click here on my button. So what that, hope that worked on every object. Yeah, it did. And now we can go in here and give those uh, objects some appropriate names. So with that room selected, let's uh, double click here in the outline on that and let's call this room underscore F for front and L for left. And then select the tire, double click on that, call this tire F for front, uh, L for left. And then we have this piece here. Uh, this is going to be the uh, wing underscore F for front and then uh, uh, left, it's on the left side, but how we call this? Um, let me give it a, just a stupid name like connection. <laughs> All right, uh, and then we have those four antennas. So this is the first one. So double click on that, and then we call it antenna underscore zero one. Um, let me double click here again on that name. Hit Control C to copy and then double click on the next one hit control v to paste it in and just type in two do the same here with the third one uh, paste it in type in three and again paste it in and type in four okay so we still have some empty groups here that we don't need mm maybe first of all I uh, want to let you know that this group that I have here um, that is um, the model uh, that I got out from that other software um, and I put it here on a layer so if I turn that layer on you see here the small F1 car um, I just uh, wanted to have it here uh, just for um, comparison later on uh, when we are doing some more complicated um, objects here. So let me hide that layer and let's maybe give that group a name here F1 model ref and then uh, let's give that layer here a name F1 ref that, that's enough information that I need. So we get to uh, uh, I get two plain groups here. I don't know where those come from, but I just don't need those. Delete it. Hit delete on the keyboard. And again here, uh, 
all those P pipe groups here. Let me just delete those. Uh, looks better here in the outline end. So we, uh, yeah, we we have here uh, a bit more uh, org organization here in our scene, which is always a good idea. And I will try to when I go on modeling, um, stay organized. I promise. Uh, okay, so uh, what we could uh, do also is um, select all those objects that, that we just um, uh, renamed here, and we could put those on a layer too. So with all those objects selected, click here on that uh, Add a New Layer button, um, and let's call this Temp. So just in case we want to hide the, uh, all those objects, we can just simply click here on visible or non-visible, which is a good idea. Okay, so let me pause this video. Uh, I know we haven't modeled anything here in this video, but it's, uh, like I said before, it's a good idea to stay organized. So in the next video, I think I'm going on here uh, modeling some uh, relatively simple parts.